I'd like to open the uh, May 11th meeting of the planning board. Uh, is there any public comment? Recognizing no one in the audience, we say no. Um, the seven o'clock continuation of a hearing on special permit for more than one curb cut site reduction, site plan reduction of required parking at Atwood Drive LLC, major project to construct a three story 66,000 square foot and a four-story 77,000 square foot office building with associate site work at 23 Atwood Drive, Northampton map ID 39-41, comma 43, is, uh, will be continued because the DPW has not settled some things with them. Is that the? Well, so they, the last time, the reason why it was continued was that um, they needed to address some stormwater management issues. Mm -hmm. They, um, submitted a letter responding to all the comments, but they didn't sub submit plan updates with that letter. Oh. So um, we're still waiting for the plans for both the Conservation Commission and DPW. So uh, my recommendation was not go another two weeks because they said they're probably still not going to get the plans till next week, which doesn't really give a whole lot of time for a plan review from DPW. So they were fine with June 8th. We don't have anything yet um, that's been submitted for that hearing date. So, again, you could do it for 7 p.m. And it wouldn't, um, you know, you wouldn't be pushing anybody else out of the way. Out of you way. might get permit applications, you know, in the next week. Okay. On the so, do I hear, do I, can I just do that? Do I need to move you that? Need a, you need a motion. Can I need a motion? So moved. Uh, to June 8th for continuation of... Atwood Drive. Second? Second. Dan? All in favor? Aye. Uh, we have two sets of minutes. Yeah. You're going to do those? Move approval. Uh, <laughs> so now they have some corrections. <laughs> I'd like to. I can just give them to her and she can change them and you can do it that way. Yes. Um, I sent in corrections for March 23rd. Um, that was probably actually yes. And then I had one that was just minor for the other yeah, the April 27th. I'll be happy to do that. Anyone else have comments on the minutes? Yeah. Uh, this, these are minutes. I, I'm getting familiar with yeah. Just the minutes with the, yeah. 20, the date. Yeah. Oh. I, <laughs> I look at the wait a minute. Yeah, no, no, it is. Agenda. Agenda. Uh, okay. Uh, they, they do. Okay. They do. So any oh, yeah, opposition to <laughs> considering these together? I look at the date. Oh. Can I have a motion? I'll move. Motion. And moves that we accept both the May 23rd and what was March 23rd? March 23rd, March 23rd, April 23rd, March 23rd and April 27th. Minutes? Second. Second by Mark. All in favor? Yep. Right. Uh, we have two A&Rs, but rumor has it there's a third. Right. We have three A&Rs. <laughs> so the first one is on We're 60 seconds in, Danny. Right. Oh. <laughs> the first one will be North King Street. Um, this is all the property. So this is a property where the um, Hebrew Cemetery is. So 90, it's bordered on 91 and North King Street. Mm -hmm. And they're just taking a portion that's actually officially owned by Benai Israel and then transferring it to the cemetery. Mm -hmm. um, so they're not going to be any building lot per se, <laughs> but they're just transferring land on North King Street. It should density, be no density for now. <laughs> <laughs> Probably pretty dense. <laughs> Going out of town on the right hand side. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. The, yeah. The, uh, so by the state police market. barracks right. on that side. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Any questions? Yeah. There's like a stone wall in front of it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Rest in peace. Yes. Uh, <laughs> move to approve. Uh, recommend that the okay. planning office handle the A and R. Endorse it. Yeah. Endorse so the A and R. Who did? Was that Yuri? That yeah. Did Yuri it? did it, and so. Mark uh, John seconded it. Okay. All in favor? Okay, the next one is um, Drury Lane. And again, this is sort of existing. Um, these are two, this is down by the um, the old swimming hole. <laughs> um, what was that place called? <laughs> the uh, 
you know the there was that private swimming area mm -hmm. on Loudville and Drury Lane. Uh, what was it called? Hold on. Wow, I, no it's been closed for a long time. Oh, for many years, I guess. Um, so let me just try. The Sankey around. Beach? Is that what you're thinking? No, no this is reservoir. down by West Hampton and East Hampton Town Line. So there was um, there was a dam there, and the owner had dammed it, and was a public but privately owned swimming area. What and are the streets that you're looking at there? I have no idea where we are. So West Hampton Road, Route 66, is up here, and as you're going towards West Hampton, you drop down to the left, down Drury Lane, I know that is. and mm -hmm. this winds yeah. down. Um, and so it's really just this property. There are two structures already on it. One's a house. They're dividing it. They both meet the minimum lot sizes, 80,000 square feet and 175 feet because it's way out. There's no water and there's no public water and sewer, so everything's well and septic. Um, so there's no plan to build anything new. It's just creating separate lots so the property owner who's getting up in years can then can yeah. sell um, the parcel. Mm -hmm. If those met the conditions for lots, wouldn't you just go ahead and approve them? I'm so as they come before us. Right. So this is the so this is anytime there's a transfer of land and a new lot line drawn, the planning board is required to determine whether it's the create whether this is creating a subdivision. Okay. And so, but under state statute, if you have adequate frontage, which means it's accessible from an existing public way, there's some other um, definitions as well, but um, then it's not deemed a subdivision. If you have to create a new public way or a way mm -hmm. um, to get to the parcel, then that would be a subdivision, and so you couldn't just sign off on it. But the planning board still has to look at it and say, oh yeah, that's not a subdivision. Okay. It's just a transfer of property or a division that's on a street that's already been. Can I have a motion? Move, Move approval. Second, okay. Mark. Okay. Ann and Mark. Okay. All in favor of granting the permission to the planning office to divide the lots. Okay. Unanimous. Third. The last <clears throat> one is a two-page A and R. Oh, shucks. <laughs> it's up on the Hatfield line, and it straddles. It actually has to go to Northampton and Hatfield. Um, it is, um, I'm going to separate these. It's a large piece of property that really only has frontage in Hatfield. Um, so it goes like this. Thank you. So the frontage is off of um, Linseed Road. So you have to get there by going up five and then turning left past you know rk miles um and then all of the land in northampton this hash line is northampton this land is actually coming to the conservation commission it's up on the ridge it's or it's actually going up the ledge so it's not really buildable but it's has um you know um, natural resources that are important to protect um so the property owner approached the city um, asking sort of, you know, if we'd want to um, participate in the land acquisition. So the purpose of this is really to carve it off to, into um, two parcels. The city will get all of this back land back here. Is any of this our decision point? No, the, so only Hatfield will look at the frontage, but because it's creating new lots and most of it's in Northampton, you have to um, endorse So that. headed out of town in 5 and 10, Past the fleet plat, past the, the yeah. cemetery, yeah. keep going, and then up on the left? On the left. So you know where the roundhouse is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's yes. basically back behind that, that yeah. roundhouse. What is that, by the yeah. way? Is that just a, a residence? Yeah. There is on the way back, conservation there land back in enough? there. Or is it not far enough? I don't think it's, I think you've gone too far, too far for that. Far. Yeah. yeah. Do we have any more questions for Carol? Is it before I take right on the that is an exit to it's after. So right. if you kept going into Hatfield, do that you know where RK Mile building, is? Medical building that is, is on the right hand yeah. side. Yeah. It's across it's across the street from that up, up on the hill. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's on the hill. It's a gas station. 
past that on the phone. Oh, past that, that yeah. gas station we fixed. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That one. Like yeah. but after that, before the roundhouse. No, it's actually the roundhouse is in front of oh. the parcel. The parcel's so big that does it connect to does it connect to uh, what is it uh, Fitzgerald Lake? Coles Meadow Road. No, but it's very close to Coles Meadow Road on that side. So maybe eventually we'll um, be able to have access from Coles Meadow Road or and then to Fitzgerald Lake, which is on the other side of Coles Meadow. <laughs> yeah. It just it depends on what happens in the Got future. It. But this is a sensitive piece of land um, that has been, I actually, a portion of it. 15 years ago, Home Depot was looking around there uh, to locate, and um, this, there was a big you know, swath of land that hadn't been developed in Hatfield, and it went up this hill. And so um, you know, there's been various interests over the years for it. But it's got, it's, it's got a lot of ledge, and the wetlands on the side, and there's, there's um, there are ravines, stream channels that sort of come down the side of it. So, moved from Ann, seconded by Dan. All in favor of accepting land? Do I hear a motion? What should we do? Seconded by <laughs> me. Ann. All in favor? Aye. Uh, huh. 